In this quick video today, I'm going to show you guys how I applied the liquid metal thermal grizzly conducto nut on my Threadripper processor. And I'm starting right now. Welcome back. If this happens to be your first time here and you lack all things tech, consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that way you don't miss anything. So there's been some talks about liquid metal thermal paste messing up the integrated heat spreader on the processors. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments below what you know about it, what you think about liquid metal and these integrated heat sinks on these processors. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be keeping a close eye on all my temperatures. So if anything changes temperature wise and out of normal spec, I'm going to take it apart and check it out. Some things people are saying that I've even heard here in comments on my channel that uh, we might be looking at even six months down the road having problems with this liquid metal thermal paste. So every six months I'm going to be taking it apart, cleaning off the thermal paste, checking it out, see if there's any damage to the integrated heat spreader. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. All right, so let's jump into applying this liquid metal thermal paste to my Threadripper processor. I really like this stuff. It worked great in my 1800X Ryzen, so definitely gonna use it on my Threadripper. I wonder if it's gonna use the whole thing. That's a lot of space to cover. Okay, one tip, since I've done this a couple times now, is be careful in pressing on this because it's easy to squirt out a bunch. Now in this case, it might be okay because there's a plenty of space to cover. <laughs> oh, oop, see, look at that. Well, we'll start with that. Let's see where that gets me. Stuff will beat up and kind of just run around like this, but if you just keep working it, it'll start uh, like grabbing hold. So you just kind of, there, see there? Just gotta work it. Looks good, fully covered. You don't want too much, because it is conductive. So just enough on there. And we will also, I like to do the same thing here, even though they say it's not necessary, but I like getting a small coating on it, so that way it kind of just uh, bonds better. Now I have found if you accidentally get too much, you can poke back into it and suck it back in. Just like that. So if you accidentally squirt too much out, get your nozzle in the hole, pull back on the plunger. All right, we're all done. Just take your thing, pull back on the plunger, suck it all out of here. Put your cap back on. Save you a little bit for your next project. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed your video today. And I will see you guys in the next video. What? What, you think they should subscribe? You think so? Yeah? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. I think it's a yes. Yes, she says subscribe.